Dr. Lori Gold has always strived to be on the front lines of his profession. Now, after many years with the College of Veterinarians of Ontario, he's giving back as their new president. For me, it's a way of, of giving to the profession above and beyond frontline veterinarian, seeing patients and helping clients and their families, where we can, we can have the opportunity to make decisions about things that govern the whole profession in the whole of the province. And some, an awful lot of it is very, very rewarding. And it was exciting for me to realize when I first got on council that that positive attitude was there. They're not just the police overseeing veterinarians, it's people who care about the profession very much. And so to be in a position of leadership now and to help bring on new counselors and guide the process as best I can from this role is very rewarding. In the last two years, the council has made significant decisions helping veterinarians care for animals during the pandemic. Ontario uh, as a college has been very innovative and ahead of, of many areas for telemedicine. And there are many states, provinces and other countries that look uh, at Ontario's telemedicine. And one of the things that we did early on was to say that because animals weren't getting seen or weren't able to get seen as well as they normally could, we opened up the ability for a veterinarian to not only establish what's called the veterinary client patient relationship, which is what we require in order to take the responsibility for caring for an animal, but even open up the opportunity to prescribe. So that if in the veterinarian's best professional judgment, they had enough knowledge from the telemedicine, whether it's phone call with pictures or video conferencing, then they could actually prescribe for treatment. And that made a huge difference in the opportunities to care for animals that weren't otherwise going to get seen. So it was innovative and world leading really. Throughout the socially distanced care, his one-year-old golden retriever, Sailor, even helped out socializing pandemic puppies. After practicing for almost four decades, he still finds great joy in his work. You never know when the phone rings, and you've heard the phone ring a million times since you've been here. Every phone call is something different different problem, different presentation, different history, different species. And so it's, it's uh, um, stimulating intellectually for the veterinarians and for the, the staff that make up the team. But it's, it's, for me, it's all about the family and the individuals. If we can help somebody whose pet is ill, we're helping the animal and we're helping the family who's concerned about it. So I really do see veterinarians as family practitioners and we're part of the healthcare team that family seeks. So it's just, it's just so satisfying. And having been here this long, now we've got um, clients that were the kids that have grown up, they're married, they're bringing their pets, and, and this is the only veterinary hospital and I'm the only veterinarian they've known. And so it's, it's that community involvement, super satisfying. Yes. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.